So if you've been paying attention to the stock market at all, you've probably heard of a little ticker called AMC. Welcome back to the three tier investing channel. Today's topic is all about short squeezes, trading halts, and what the hell is going on with AMC. I know that it's all over the news. Everybody's talking about the Reddit post for Wall Street bets. And then they're also talking about hedge funds and how they're tyrannical and we must fight them. But really in the grand scheme of things, it's a little more complex than you think but it's actually also really easy to understand. I wanna go ahead and actually explain what short selling is and what a short position really does. So let's put it into perspective. Let's say we've got a ticker called TTI, all right? TTI is a stock that sells for about, let's say $100. I, as an investor, think that TTI stock is going to go down. So what do I do? I open a short position and I do that by contacting my broker, which basically says that, hey, I will borrow X amount of shares. For this, let's say that we're borrowing one share of TTI and we want to short it. So here's what happens. I borrow a share from my broker. So I owe my broker $100. But I also believe the share is going to go lower. So when I borrow that share, I'm basically selling it at the same time. So now I've got $100 in cash. Now if the stock's value falls, let's say it falls to $85. When I'm done, I can rebuy the share at 85, I give it back to my broker, and I keep the difference. Hence, I've made $15 off of TTI's fall. Now that's, a, that's just off one share. If I were to buy 10, I would have made $150, but I also would have owed my broker $1,000. Makes sense? But let's say that the short position doesn't work out and the stock's value actually goes up. I borrowed a share for $100, I sold it for $100, but then the shares go back up to $120. At that point, you're reaching a situation where there's limitless losses that could occur because you don't know, there's no roof to how high TTI's price could go. Let's say I get scared, I say enough's enough, I want to give my position back. I would have to buy the share at $120 and then give it back to my broker. In that situation, I would have lost $20 on the trade and it's as simple as that. Short selling just allows investors to bet against the stock and borrow shares and then give it back when it's done. Now that you understand what short selling is, let's explain what a short squeeze is and what short covering is. Covering is just the term that's used when you close a short position and a short squeeze essentially means that there's a lot of volume, there's a lot of bullish volume Volume that jacks the price up. What happens is that to minimize losses, people who are shorting the stock will end up selling or closing their position. Now because shorting is the opposite of buying shares, when you look at the charts and the volume, closing a short position looks just like it would to buy shares. So what happens is now you've got people buying shares, now you've got the price going up, and people are closing their short positions. So now in the volume, it looks like even more people are buying. And what that does is that forces a bit of an exponential growth on the stock price, hence calling it a short squeeze. You're squeezing people with short positions, jack up the buying volume, which grows the price even more. So what happens then? People who are playing call options or people who own shares are making a lot more money in a more exponential rate. But if you notice, there were a few points in AMC's history where the stock is actually holding Halted, which means that there are no buys and no sells going through. Now this can happen for pretty much two reasons. Either one, there's a major piece of news that could affect the stock price greatly, whether positively or negatively, or there's an insane amount of volume and they're trying to make sure that there's less manipulation going on and they try to cover things to keep the stock market as stable as possible. It's basically a prevention method to make sure that things move smoothly and a lot of people don't get burned in one move. All of this considered, we really want to understand what's going on with AMC. In the grand scheme of things, you have to think about the fundamental value of AMC. They have theaters, they provide entertainment services, something that wasn't really prevalent during the COVID pandemic, but is starting to come back as more individuals get vaccinated. So think about these things. At the end of the day, if AMC is trading at, let's say, $70, do you really think AMC is worth $70 a share? Is that something that analysts agree with? Because at the end of the day, as nice as it is to take money from hedge funds, as nice as it is to make money for the common man, who really controls the market? Is it sustainable for us to keep pumping stocks over and over? Long term, do you know where this stock is going to go? The reason I mention this is because as exciting as it can be to buy shares like AMC, GameStop, BlackBerry, which seem to look like they're just going to keep going forever to the moon, 
is that really always the case? The reason I want to bring this up specifically is to remind you to always take your profits. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, especially if you're new to the market. It can be difficult in the beginning to understand why stock prices are moving the way they do. If you're in a fortunate position where you've made 20, 50, 100, 500, 1000% on your plays, really think about how much more can you go? Because every percent, every dollar that a stock goes up, it becomes less and less likely for it to go up another percent. Now, if there's enough volume and the price action dictates it, it's possible. But you really want to make sure that you're watching the volume. You want to make sure you're watching the candle patterns. You want to look for any patterns like triangles, pennants, cup and handles. Pay attention to these things because the more effort you put into technical analysis, the more you'll understand where the stock price is going to go. So if it starts to fall, you don't panic and go, oh my God, this is going to the ground. I'm going to lose everything and panic sell. You're going to know, okay, if it falls below this price level, I know that it can fall maybe five more dollars and it's going to retest that. If it falls below that, I know that it's going down. I'm good to go. Obviously, that's hypothetical, but it represents the right mindset that you should have in the market. Always protect your assets. It's not your money until you sell and it's not your loss until you sell. So look at your plays very carefully. Learn how to do technical analysis, which we can help with. But at the end of the day, make sure you're protecting your assets because it's a dog eat dog world. The trading world is not nice to everybody. And where somebody wins, another one loses. So make sure you win just a little bit at the end of the day so that you can have your fun, have your cake and still get a slice to take home. So with that being said, if I've made any mistakes during this video, I do humbly apologize. Hopefully this video was educational enough to explain what's going on in the stock market. But with everything going on, I know it can be confusing. If you do have any questions, feel free to shoot us a message on social media. All of the links are in our bio. We are happy to help. It doesn't matter if you're a part of our trading team or not. We're there to make sure you guys get the guidance you need. So with that, keep learning, keep loving, keep growing, and have a wonderful day.